Uh, so I, ho I hope that makes sense uh, and answers your question and it helps uh, your experience get a little bit easier. If you are new, I want to ask you a question. What are you intending to do with those sub layers, if I may ask? Uh, I want to use shading and I have more than one flat color uh, on one cell. Oh, okay. So I will answer the shading question as well. So this also heavily leans on the, the invisible strokes where I probably shouldn't be using the, pen the brush. <laughs> Pencil is the recommended way of doing your line art. So I'll draw a shape, turn on my strokes with K, uh, then probably fill it in like that. And then also underneath the paint bucket tool, you will find this one. This is the stroke tool and this draws those invisible lines. So then I can draw in that stroke and paint in my shade just like that. And then if you want it to be separated as before, you know, I cut and paste across it like that. And then I can do all, all sorts of weird things with it. There are tons and tons of different ways to shade things like that. A method myself and a bunch of people use, I'm not sure if they still use it. A couple of them are in the chat right now. Maybe you can tell me if you still do things this way. And that is to draw in their strokes with a different colored pencil like this. And then they'll fill it in either side. And then either as because you know there'll be tons and tons of these strokes by the end so then they select them all and then delete uh, or even will uh, double click that color and just lower the transparency down to zero and that sort of gets a similar result i i'm interested in your take uh tick ink uh, because those are a bunch of different methods what what are your first impressions on hearing those uh, does any particular method stand out to you more than the others does any of them look especially tedious or uh, unattractive compared to the others? Can I use this method with the brush tool? Yes. The only real difference with the brush tool and the pencil is where those strokes go. So here's an orange circle. You'll notice that with the strokes mode on, uh, you of course notice that the, uh, uh, the, the strokes edges go around, around the brush like that, rather than like that. There is an edit center line now for the brush, so you do get a lot more wiggle room for being able to use it as your primary drawing uh, method. Uh, so that should be fine. The only issue you're likely to run into using the brush as your main uh, drawing tool is once things are filled like this, if I delete the edges, you'll notice that the brush tool leaves a gap because it's around the edges. Now, if I'd drawn that with the pencil, it would have just filled itself in because it's, you know, it's, it's infinitesimally small. It's, it's a stroke level of zero. Let's catch up a bit. Uh, Adriana agrees, says, yep, I still prefer that method over strokes. Uh, I never got used to using strokes for some old reason. Uh, that is in reference to using a brightly colored uh, pencil in order to draw in the different zones for shading. Uh, I agree, actually. I really like using the, the pencil still um, for marking your your uh, shading zones. And that is because they show up on your onion skin. Invisible strokes don't. Sometimes I shade with strokes instead of pencil lines, so I'm forced to flip and not use the onion skin. Agreed. I, I lean a lot more on flipping now than I do the onion skin tool, ironically enough. It has been a frustrating experience, but your video on the foundations helped a lot. Thank goodness. I'm, I'm glad that video helped because I know the foundations video is, is a lot. It's a lot of information packed into a really condensed space. And it also doesn't really, it's not a really practical video. Like it isn't, hey, follow these steps and then you can make a thing. It's, it's like, it's theory, <laughs> you know, it's all the nerdy stuff. I'm really proud of that video because it's, it's all of the things that if you're willing to learn that stuff at the beginning, rather than just wanting the instant gratification of making something cool, when you understand that stuff, it just makes everything so much easier. Thanks for watching. Consider following my Twitter for upcoming stream times and topics. Hey, maybe your question or suggestion or whatever will become a video topic of its own like this one. Previous unedited full streams, as well as any relevant working files, if there happens to be any, are available to my lovely patrons. Links for all that stuff and that are in the description. Yay! Okay, bye.